With the next phase of the swing, the negative move, there's a couple of different drills you can do. One of them that we like to use is, is basically just having your hitter get into that negative move position and not allowing them to move into their positive move or swing until you've given them the go ahead. And so I'm gonna put JJ into her negative move position. I'm gonna have her hold it there, make sure everything's in line, all the absolutes uh, are present. And then once I feel good about it, I'll tell her to go ahead and take her swing. So let's, let's try to do that now. Go. Good. Well, the first drill we're going to start off is a drill we call Ichiro. Uh, and knowing who Ichiro is, a Japanese baseball player that came over uh, and plays in the, uh, in the major leagues now and is one of the, one of the pro most prolific hitters we have in our game right now. He's the one that uh, averaged, there's been 30 people in the major leagues now that have hit above 330 in their careers. I think his, uh, his career average is around 345, 350. Uh, the way he shifts his body and the way he uses his legs, he's not a very big guy, but he uses very good his legs and using leverage. And so we want to get ourselves back and start and use our legs where, we need, where they need to be at contact. And what we did was we brought Allison Falcon here, one of our players for us now. Uh, in our Ichiro drill, it teaches three things. One, it tells where our stride should land. Most kids have a problem when they want to stride too far. They want to lunge at the ball. They want to get too big with their step. Um, so one, it teaches where to land. Two, what will happen to us is we got to learn how to land on our front foot. Majority of our kids, when they take their stride, they want to land open. They'll stride their foot open, and now all of a sudden what happens to us, once this foot starts to open up, then in turn the front hip opens up. And once that front hip opens up, then all of a sudden the swing wants to go to the left side pull side. And if you watch most of your kids hit, where they want to hit the ball? They all want to pull it. Well, they don't understand that the glory is in the opposite field. The more things you can hit the other way and hit it hard, the, more career, the better career you'll have. So that second thing it teaches. And three, it teaches us how to load up. And everything you do in sport, you have to go back before you go forward. You have to get your body in motion backwards before you start to go forward. So what it does in our Ichiro, she'll take three strides. And on the third one, she'll take her hack. So she'll go through. So one, two, third one, she hits. Okay? Now if you notice how she goes through, it's just her leg working. She's not a buoy. You don't see her going one, to, it's not her head working, it's just her lower half working. It's a step, it's a reach step. Her stride, whenever you're getting ready to hit, is not an actual step. When you take your stride, you don't want to gain ground. If you think about when you're walking and you take your step, your body gains ground. Well, we don't want to gain ground during our stride. What we want our stride to do is to reach out and stop our body from going forward to where we have something firm to hit into. Okay, so she'll go back and do it again. Oh, I need a ball, sorry. So one, notice her head still, big toe is planted on the ground, heels in the air, and it drops, she hits. 